Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video and welcome to 1OK Rock featuring Avril Lavigne. Uh, listen, this is a lyric video and we're going to be reacting to it. If you couldn't tell by the title, that is what the title is. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, um, for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, um, hello, I've been gone again for a little bit, I know. I suck, I do suck at YouTube. This is the reason why I won't ever get big on YouTube or I won't ever um, get a, fo like a good following or be a full-time YouTuber. It's because I just go through these phases where I'm just like, I'm just not going to upload. It's not like I consciously think I'm not going to upload, it's just that I wake up and I just kind of don't do it all day and then it gets to midnight and I'm like oh I've got to go to sleep and go to work the next day and then the next day kind of just happens and days just kind of happen don't they I'm sure if, if, if anyone else I'm sure most people can relate to be honest there's most most of you out there probably procrastinate and are like me maybe you're not maybe you're hardworking and uh, unlike me but yeah that's that's just the way I am um I could be better but you know I I always miss doing YouTube when, when I'm not doing it I don't know why I just it's the same with like going to the gym or eating well or anything anything that's healthy and good for me I, I love it at the time but then I just go through a phase where I don't do it and then I feel like a piece of shit and then I wonder why and it's like things like this are good for me I, I enjoy making videos and there just feels like there's a hole in my life when I'm not making them honestly and I really should keep making them because winter's here and I can feel the seasonal depression kind of ki kicking in like it's dark at like midday and it's like like cold and it's just dark and I'm like not exercising and I'm eating bad and just everything's kind of rolling into one so YouTube is something that I when I, you know, when, when I'm at home and I'm not doing anything in the dark nights, it gives me something positive to like do, something to like focus on and work at, and you know, I should really keep doing it more often um, because it's good for me, to be totally honest. Um, so yeah, we will see though. We will see if I stick around. Um, again, if uh, I'm probably I'm probably losing valuable viewers who could potentially be loyal and help to grow the channel and potentially give me a sick you know job or just to have a cool community like around here i'm probably messing all that up and i apologize but i just make videos when i want to so and I, I should do it more i should i know myself but that's nothing you know that's not your responsibility or anything like that i don't know why i'm telling you this you're just my therapist basically so um yeah you're not getting paid for it either so it kind of sucks for you anyway today we're doing one okay rock of course we're back with one okay rock i don't really listen to one okay rock too i do listen to them but i don't listen to new one okay rock songs when i'm not reacting to them unlike young blood or mgk or anything like that i do like kind of keep up with their stuff whereas one okay rock i'm just i'm not into them enough where I'm like listening to them all the time. I still listen to them out with videos. But I don't really listen to their new stuff outside of videos. So reacting to them is the main time of when I um, sort of discover new 1OK Rock songs. So yeah. So I thought we'd kick it off with uh, Listen, which is featuring Avril Lavigne. So you pretty much are 97%, 95.7%, let's say. Na wait, I said 97 it's a good chance it'll be a banger. Let's be honest. Let's let, let's be real. Anything with Avril Lavigne, it's it's got it's got potential. It has got potential. So um, yeah, full screen, and let's go. You okay, I thought there was no sound. Mm. You want me to save you again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, I missed one. I missed Taka's angelic like voice with range and the way like I I missed I missed Taka's voice. Two, this has such a good vibe already. Like this has such a good vibe. Like the, just the way everything came in, it just had a very two thousands punk pop punk rock like feel. Just Avril Lavigne. Just the way it all came in, it it just feels very like it feels almost familiar. Even though I've never heard the song before, it feels very familiar of a genre that I love. And yeah, it just sounds like an Avril Lavigne song. And it's got one okay rock, so it's gonna add something different. It's gonna be like a modern version. This is gonna be a good song. I I'm t I predicted it. Twenty four seconds in, I could have predicted it at the start. To be fair, One Okay Rock and Avril Lavigne. It's gonna be a good song. But twenty four seconds in, it's a hundred percent chance it's gonna be a good song. Let's go. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay. I didn't think they were just going to go back and forth, so possibly they're going to go like back and forth between each other. I didn't think they were going to do that. I thought it was going to be like, they have one okay rock, well Taka has their, like his verse, and then Avril has her verse, maybe there's a bit of a bridge, and then maybe they come in together at the end, like they often do in songs like this, but they're actually, they're possibly maybe going back and forth, which is even better. I'm not going to lie, it's even better. So um, but yeah, I should pay attention to these lyrics actually. <laughs> Mm. This is how you find your way. This is true. 
Oh. I've done a lot of uh, 1K Rock videos where I've reacted to the concerts of them, the live shows, um, and I really do enjoy doing those, but the thing is with them, it's kind of the same video in a little bit of a way, because it's like, you watch the video, the concert's always sick, and it's always kind of the same thing. Like, although it's a good thing to do during lockdown when we can't go to concerts, um, it gets a little bit samey, I feel, so I want to start doing a bit more 1K Rock, like, lyric videos. Um, I, I prefer sort of lyric videos. Music videos are great as well, but I really like lyric videos and stuff like that, because I can really get an idea of what the what they're trying to say, the story they're trying to tell, which you don't always get with like a live performance it can sometimes be harder to like listen to the lyrics because you're focusing on everything else and it's just harder to make out um and that sort of stuff so unless there's a cool music video with a song i do quite like lyric videos as well just because i can get an idea of the story they're trying to tell um so that's my thinking i might do a bit less of one okay rock live performances i might do, still do some if there's some like ridiculously like sick live performances that i just have to see that people recommend um but yeah i, I feel like lyric videos I, I i like diving into lyrics i do i, I love I just love lyrics. I really love love um, like diving into lyrics and stuff, even in my spare time, uh, not just on videos. So, so yeah, that's my thinking with with this. If you're wondering why it's not a live performance, because um, I, I do usually do the concerts. Um, am I still recording? Yes. I've got so much love for you, my friend. I don't die until the end. But only you can save mm. Only you can save Oh, I like that. See, this song could be about this could be about a lot of people this could be about a lover about a friend a family member they could be talking to the listener like a fan of theirs they, they could be talking to anyone here which um you, you know it doesn't seem to be aimed at sort of one direct uh person um maybe there's a story behind the song um but what was what what did they say i've got yeah i've got so much love for you ride or die but only you can save yourself like I love you, I appreciate you, I want what's best for you, but only you can save yourself. And that, that's true in a lot of ways. You could talk about someone with like, um, you know, like an addiction problem or just someone who's like, um, you know, mentally just not in the right space and does come to a point where you have to want to change yourself and you have to want to sort of help yourself. And that's a, that's a hard hole to get out of, I think, um, if you're if it's an addiction problem or something, if you're in like, if you're on like a path of self-destructive behavior and it's hard to break that cycle, but you have to, you know, only you can save yourself ultimately. You're, you're the, you're the main person in your life. If you know what I mean? Like it's your whole life, it's you and you. So it's like, you've got to, you've got to know yourself. You've got to know yourself better than anyone else knows you. And it's hard. It's not, it's, it's not easy. Trust me. I've been, I've been in, I've, you know, I've, I, th I feel like everyone has up and down mental health, right? Um, and it's not, it's not easy and it's not always as, as easy as just saying, oh, I'm just going to be this way. You know, it's a lot more, it's like with uploading videos, it's like the day to day, like checking yourself and doing the right things. And it's, it's, it's not as easy as just saying, oh, I'm going to be like this it is the day to day, every single day, the little decisions you make every day that, that add up to, to things like this, you know, to who you are and the habits you have and the successes you have, not just like material successes, but the successes of your mental health, basically. So I know it's just one line, but it's, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot to unpack there, basically. It's a cliche, but it is kind of true. They sound really good together, actually. They, they like they they need to they need to collaborate more. I feel like because I, I don't know if they have more songs together. They probably don't, to be honest. But they, it's just the, the the two styles, like the Avril Lavigne style, is so like two thousands, like alternative rock or punk rock or whatever. Like it just like One Okay Rock could do that. It's just it's just a great. It's just it's just what I want. It's the kind of music that I love. Like you probably know this if you know me at all. You probably know like this kind of stuff. It's it's a little bit. It's more mellow. It's not it's not um. You know, it, it's a certain kind of mood, this song. It's not, 
um you can listen to it when you're happy but it's definitely when you're just feeling a bit like down and you need like a something to pick you up something to be like you know what you're good it's life is going to be okay it's a life is going to be okay sort of song isn't it you know what i mean um but yeah this this is definitely my kind of music i love this shit <laughs> I love Avril Lavigne too. Love Avril Lavigne though. Okay. See, that's handy. That's actually really handy when they do the Japanese bits. It does. It, it's cool that they have the subtitle, and it's cool that they have the the um you know the English version there. That is helpful to me who does not speak any of the other languages because I'm a little bit uncultured and um and you know um. It, uh, what's the word? Ignorant and uh, just a bit dumb, to be honest. Um, maybe no, it's not that dumb actually. It's just the fact that I wasn't taught it in school. Well, I, well, I, I no, to be fair, I was. They tried to teach me. They tried to teach me French in school, and I didn't listen. So maybe, I, yeah, maybe, maybe I am the problem. Maybe I'll have to admit that I am the problem here. Maybe it'll take a lot, but possibly it's my fault. Either way, it's handy. It's handy when they do that. It's handy when they put it. In. Go on, Avril. I can't tell who that is on the right, but they're almost doing like the Spider-Man, like, you know, the, you know the one I mean? Can you see? I can't tell, because I've got it upside down here. I can't tell which way I'm... What am I doing? You know the Spider-Man? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't have to explain it. I'm, you're not dumb. Like, what am I trying to do? Either way, um, yeah, that was awesome. That's, that's, oh, if, that's, that's just my kind of music, man. It's just my kind of music, so I'm always gonna love it, you know, um, but yeah, like I said, I want to do more sort of maybe lyric type videos, try and dive into more lyrics, because I love just going on rants and, like, talking about shit, um, just because it is kind of therapy for me, but it's also just fun to talk about, and, you know, maybe, you know, it's, Weirdly enough, I do get I sometimes get views on these videos um, and people do comment and saying oh This is really good. I like when you talk about this and that's really cool Um, that's that's super that's the reason I post it on a video and don't just talk to the mirror back there Um, you know is that other people can interact with it and maybe maybe get something, you know Get something from it to use for themselves, you know, that's that's mad. That is mad that um it's not like giving advice to people, it's just like having a dialogue and then something something random you say can just sometimes click in someone's head and they're like, oh, I didn't think of it like that, or oh, this is cool, like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 the main, it's not the main reason for the internet, but it's, it's a good use of the internet, it's just to have, have dialogue about shit, you know, it's like, because that's what humans are meant to do. I'm going, on, I'm going down a rabbit hole here, I need to stop, to be honest, because otherwise this video is just going to be a long, long rant, and no one's going to watch the whole thing, and then the watch time is down, and then you're an unsuccessful YouTuber, Drew. Um, but yeah, not that, that matters. Either way, thank you very much for watching, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as I say, I should be making more videos, I'm planning on it. I, I won't promise I will, but I, I'm planning on it. And, um, you know, if anyone is still sticking around from the 1OK Rock reactions or just on the channel in general, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye for now.